Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making some favors for my baby shower. My baby shower is tomorrow, my sister-in-law is throwing it for me, and um, I wanted to share a process video of how I made these. So this is the finished product. It is a little tea uh, gift, and it's loose leaf tea. This one is a vanilla chai, and I'm doing a bunch of different flavors. So this is a black tea, and there is the little jar with the tea, as well as some bags to steep the tea, the directions on the back, and then a little card there just that says, a little something for you, enjoy. So let me go through everything that I use to make this, and I hope you enjoy this process video. So the first thing that you'll need is mason jars. Now you can get any size you'd like, but I went out and picked these ones up from Walmart. These are the 125 milliliter and you get 12. And these ones in Canada were 887. So they're basically just perfect little mason jars for tea. So when you purchase these jars, they do come with labels. And that's what I've actually just used for the jars. I thought they were pretty cute. And of course they're gonna fit perfectly. So I just grabbed a Sharpie. I have this one in a lime green that I really like. And I filled the jars with different types of tea and then labeled them. So I still have one left to fill and one label left because I am making 12 for the 12 guests. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with some loose leaf tea. This one's a lemon drop tea and it is caffeine free. I tried to get a variety of green and black and uh, caffeine free uh, fruit teas so that people could pick what they liked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my little label here. So again, this one is lemon drop. and then it can just dry while I'm filling up the little mason jar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. I've already washed all of these and um, I'm just gonna fill it up with that tea. And I guess the only thing is people won't be able to smell the teas to see which one they like better, but they should have a good idea of what they like. So there we have that filled jar. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and then just put the label on it. And there's that little label there. There is an obvious place where to put them on these jars because of the way that the um, little pots are. So next I'm gonna take some twine just to make this little bow here. And uh, this is just twine that I picked up at Target a while back. They had it in the dollar section and it's just a nice cream color. So I'm just wrapping the twine around the jar and I'm going to make a little bow here and the nice thing about this is you can just make a bow before you actually cut it so you know how long you need and I'm just gonna go ahead and snip that off and I just like the little touch that the twine adds to this it makes it look like a little jam jar next I'm gonna make the little tag that's on here and I just used some Nina Solar White cardstock to cut out that little tag. And this is just the 80 pound. The sentiments that I have used for it are from the Tiny Tags set, and that is from Lawn Fawn. And I just used the Enjoy and a little something for you. I already have those mounted up on a stamp block because I use them to make this one. And the ink that I use is also from Lawn Fawn, and I'm just using a really soft gray. Uh, this is the Lawn Fawn Manatee ink. To cut out the circle, I'm using a die from Simon Says Stamp, and I've used the third circle here. And this is the stitch circles from Simon Says Stamp. And I cut out a strip of that Nina Solar White so that it was easy to put it through my cuddle bug. So I'm going to go ahead and run that die through my cuddle bug. And when it comes out, I really like the stitch detail on this circle. And then using my Lawn Fawn Manatee ink, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that sentiment on the little circle. And I have stamped it near the bottom because I am going to do a hole punch in the top. 
And I just have a little single hole punch that I'm going to go ahead and punch out. The next thing I want to do is the little instructions for the back. And to do that, I'm using two dies that are from the same set. And this is the CC design set. So I'm using the um, third and second smallest in the, this set. And this one is the CC Designs Scalloped Rectangle Set. And I really like how this looks when it cuts out. I'm going to use the Nina 80 pound solar white again to write the instructions. And then I'm going to use this um, yellow paper. This is from a pack that I picked up at Michael's. It's called Embossed Neutrals and I really like it. It has embossed um, circles on it. I'll show you up close. And it's just really nice to have something pre-embossed. Of course, if you have um, your an embossing folder that you'd like to use, definitely do that. But I love this. Um, it was a great deal. I got it on sale, used a 40% off coupon and it was already um, a really good price. So using the larger of the two dies, I'm going to cut out the embossed paper. So I'm just running that through my cuddle book. And I like to go back um, on it again, just to make sure I get a really good impression. And then I'll go ahead and do the white one. And I just use washi tape to hold down my images so that they don't move as they go through. And there is the white. Using the uh, brewing instructions on the back of the tea pack, I just went ahead and wrote out the instructions. I also included that this was a caffeine free tea, just in case people didn't know about that type. And I just used my Zig writer. I really like this uh, marker. It's got a fat tip and a fine tip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use just some glue tape to um, glue the white onto the embossed paper. And there's the little instruction card. So to put this all together, I just used some clear cellophane bags. I got these a long time ago and it was a pack of 50 or 100. And I'm sure I probably picked these up at Michael's. I've had these at least for four or five years. So basically I just, I'm gonna use a cellophane bag, but I'm also going to use some ribbon to finish it off. So what I've done is I've taken some ribbon. This is just, again, from Michael's, the Celebrated 360, the yellow collection, and it's just this um, really pretty lime green. And I've taken the ribbon and cut it out, put it onto twist ties, and uh, they're basically ready to go onto the T packages. So they're just tied around the twist tie and then um, they will hold the little tag that says um, the little sentiment I stamped before, the enjoy one. So basically, um, the last thing I have to include are some steeping sacks in case people don't have something to brew their loose leaf tea in. So in each of the little pots, there should be enough for five uh, cups of tea. So I'm going to include those. And you could also use um, the little um, bags to do a big pot of tea if you'd like. Another option of course would be to just include an infuser but these are quite easy. The bags are biodegradable so you just throw them in your compost or your green bin and they just open up. You put the tea in and then you put it in your mug or like I said or pot. So if you're going to do a pot you would just put a little bit more in. And those are the instructions on the back of the box. So I have everything ready for assembly. So first I'm just gonna take the little steeping sacks and I'm just gonna fold them up and put them in the cellophane bag. And those are gonna go at the back. Now behind that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the card with the instructions and put it behind the little steeping sacks. Then I'm gonna take my tea and I'm gonna put it in front of the little steeping sacks. And that should hold everything in place. And then finally, I'm going to take my bow and then my little tag. I'm going to feed my little tag onto there and go ahead and wrap this around. And the nice thing is, is you can just use 
a little piece of string for this as well if you wanted to make it easier. I just had tons of these um, little ties left over from another project and they were silver so I thought they looked cute. And there we have the finished project. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you had a great day.